Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the names of the constants in the color class. You can see there is a lot of colors predefined with their names here. It would be useful to use these names in, in your applications where you might present the user with a list of colors to select from and use names rather than rather than something like RGB values. So let's go ahead and see how we might extract these names. The first um, thing to do is search for the GitHub repo for the go.engine. So let's click here. This takes us to the repo and if we look in doc classes we can scroll down here to find the color class. Color XML is what we want and here's the code containing the constants but we want the raw code so let's uh, control A all of this control C to put it on the clipboard and go to a website it's a, like a online regex tester we're going to use regular expressions to extract the names I'll show you how to do that in Go dot itself later, but it's always worth using one of these tools to design your reg regular expression pattern string because it can be difficult to get it right. You can see here we've got the the lines that show the constants. So let's cut and paste this part, and we're going to make a pattern that matches what we want to extract. Let's paste it into the regular expression box here. And we want to remove the, the single name and we want to make a sub group match so it's going to be uh, a sequence of letters that are used in words so we can go backslash uh, w which is a letter alphanumeric letter and if we look at the side here we can see our match information where it's extracted match one it's got the the whole string and then group one is just the name so it's doing what we want it's captured them, them all so we can export our matches there and let's get it in plain text and we don't want everything we just want the sub match so if we click here then we can get a list and then copy to the clipboard and you can see we've got the full list of all of the names and this is from the latest build I think in version in go.3.3 these names are actually lowercase and with no uh, underscore between them but this is more flexible because you can use them in in text labels for example and make a nicely formatted uh, name for the color but yet you can still derive the proper name for the the color n function where you input the string the name of a color to get the actual color value now if we look at my scripts i created earlier i thought it was a lot of work doing this just to do the same as what you can easily do online so, but anyway it was a useful exercise it's actually a tool script so that means it runs in the editor whenever it's refreshed it just extends node 2d with a script attached to it this script is uh, a setter for the exported string i have here and i've called it xml code and clicking on this node we get the xml code available here and i've cut and pasted that XML I got from the the repository. You see this? I, I did Control A. I got all of this text, and then I copied into this box here for my XML code variable. Now, when you do that, it sets the value of this. It, I it calls the setter function, which I called extract. So this extract it. it has an input of the value of the text which I've called XML. I 
and you want to because it's a set of function you should set the actual var there to keep it updated so we go xml underscore code equals the xml text and then it will preserve it in that value and then you can when you save the this file it will remember the in the scene the, the value of the exported value so to start processing it we create a variable called names and it will be a pull string array because we want to later join the elements together and uh, rather than using an ordinary array which doesn't have that feature now we're going to create our regex as a variable here and using the regex class just make a new uh, object of a regex and then we need to go regex compile our our um, pattern it's almost the same as the one we entered into this website we were looking at but uh, godot has a needs an extra delimiter on our on our word character and yeah and then because i'm capturing in part of my pattern is double quotes so i need single quotes surrounding this this string so anyway we want to get multiple results so we put it in a for loop when we capture the result when we do a regex and we execute the method of search all on the input text so for every result we can get the string value out of it uh, it gives an array of strings for the the matches so we don't want the outer match we want the inner match which is at index one and we append this string value to our names array and finally we print the names but join together with commas this makes it easy to use later in our other scripts we can cut and paste the list and it's a comma separated list of all of the names and like i said before you in the other script you could have an exported string variable which you paste this into and then use uh, and then s split the string based on it being separated by these commas so i hope you found that useful and like and if you're not subscribed, subscribe and I'll see you soon in another video. Cheers.